Only human beings have rights, and they have a right to own, control, and dispose of the material things which their labor of mind and muscle has produced, and in addition to the things they acquired by exchange and as gifts. Contrary to what you say, there are not rough and ready methods of determining who gets what. There is a delicately articulated device called, for short, the market. Actually, the market is the resultant of millions of voluntary choices made by men and women as they quest for the highest satisfactions of those things they value most. What each of these millions may call his own is what others voluntarily accede to him. The reluctance to play this game according to the rules derives from the fact that each of us tends to overvalue his own goods and services and undervalue those of others. We are not content with the valuation others place on our goods and services, and we join the struggle to get the machinery of the political agency in the expectation that having control of it, other men can then be forced to value our product at its true worth. Edmund Optus, The Libertarian Theology of Freedom. If you want to learn more about this, check out my book, Are You Free? by Tim Bankus II.